Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Su. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how to distribute your podcast. So for us, I mean, you know, the podcast is all about getting reach at the end of the day. And obviously there is iTunes. You know, we host our podcast on a hosting platform called Libsyn. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean we're just limited to iTunes. We are distributing to a lot of different um, options. So I'll, I'll kick it off with a couple and then Neil can, can cap it off. But for us, I mean, automatically coming out of Libsyn, it allows us to publish different to different destinations. So we do publish automatically to YouTube. We do publish automatically to SoundCloud as well. Uh, also to, you know, our LinkedIn profiles and things like that. It just makes more sense, right? Because there's a lot of different options out there. Why aren't you getting the word out there if you're spending all the time on a podcast? Not all people are hanging out on iTunes all the time time yeah tweet out your podcast share them on facebook uh, it was funny i was looking at one of the videos eric put up on uh, marketing school on his face or on his youtube channel and it was funny because it's like it's just audio but one of the videos has like a thousand plus views and i was like huh not too bad and the cool part about youtube is unless someone listens for i believe 30 seconds it doesn't count them as a view so it's real views or listens or whatever you want to end up calling it we used to use uh, Product Hunt. They used to have a podcasting section. I believe they removed it. That drove quite a bit of traffic. We were milking the shit out of that for a while. I'm pretty sure we were we were a cause out of a, a cause for that. Yeah, we were, we may have been a cause for why they removed it. But we were dominating the channel. It was driving thousands of views per day. The other strategy that we've done is we network with other bloggers and people like that, and we ask them to do email blasts for our podcast. Um, and we're not really providing them anything. Sometimes we'll notice that we mention tools within our podcast, not because we're trying to promote these tools. We don't get paid for them, but we really just use them and we feel it benefits you. So if we, let's say, mention Ahrefs because we know it's a good tool, we may email someone at Ahrefs and saying like, hey, we know we mentioned you on X, Y, and Z podcast, you know, feel free to share it out with your visitors or your members or whatever it may be or blast it out to your email list. You know, they can get uh, a new take on how experts like Eric and I use your product and they'll probably love to listen to a few of our episodes. So it's like a win-win situation. Again, we're not getting paid to do that. We're not, you know, getting compensated in any way, but it's just a great win-win strategy. And we didn't start doing it intentionally. It was someone who hit us up. We mentioned their product and they started promoting it to their email list and they were just like, they're like, oh, thanks for mentioning to us. Uh, we blasted this out to like 50,000 people. We're like, oh, wow. We're like, this is a smart idea. We should go back to all the people we mentioned in our podcast, email them the episode numbers and have them do a free blast. You know, you just mentioned uh, YouTube. There's a, uh, a tool for Instagram and also for Facebook as well that actually allows you to put a little cool um, – the, like audio waves and then also you can have like a background image so i've been testing it out with instagram as well so people can listen to snippets there and then you could also publish that to facebook so that tool is called wave that includes two v so that's w-a-v-v-e um just search for that and it's going to allow you to make different um you know different social sharing uh templates and so that's good and then also don't forget about google play um, or you can do Stitcher as well. And I'm trying to think of some others that we use. Um, I think we even, even do iHeartRadio. Um, that's one of them as well. Just a host of others. And oh, also, big one um, that I actually just resubmitted our podcast to yesterday, uh, Spotify. Don't forget about Spotify because, you know, a lot of people listen to Spotify. I think, are, are they public yet or are they filing for IPO? Do you remember? Uh, no, no, they're not public yet. Uh, they will be soon. So uh, Spotify is one you can submit to. They actually have an open form for that. So just type in Spotify podcast submission. Um, and then what else is there? I'm trying to remember. There's actually one more, but it escapes me right now. So if it comes back to me, I'll let you know. But, uh, Neil, anything else? No, I think we pretty much covered it all. 
Okay, great. So that's it for today, but we do want to mention our one-year annual subscription giveaway of Crazy Egg, which is a heat mapping tool. Neil, what's Crazy Egg? Sure. So Crazy Egg shows you where people click on your website, where they don't. Even shows you how far they're scrolling down your page, because if your important messaging is in the wrong place and no one sees it, same with your call to actions, you're not going to generate any sales or conversions. You can even watch video recordings of how people are interacting and moving their mouse and going through your website, so that way you know how to adjust your design and copy. You can also adjust your site from a design and copy perspective through the WYSIWYG editor within Crazy Egg. And with a few clicks of a button, you can continually run A-B tests. So if you want to get in on this, again, we're giving away a annual subscription once every single week. And you can actually get multiple entries. And if you want to learn more about how you can do this, just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more. And we'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.